Hey guys, welcome back to more Tales of Arise. We left off, we made it to Lenegus, which by the looks of things is just one big space station. Uh, one thing I thought about since we last left off, Dolim talks about, hey Dee, uh, Dolim talks about how none of these people have ever seen their homeland or their home planet, so I'm thinking, could they have come from Dana but actually progressed enough to make their own spaceship and then everyone's just forgotten that they all originate from Dana? That's the theory I'm going with at the moment, or the guy who runs this place is making everyone forget they come from Dana. That's why they oppress the Danans as is. Either way, I just want to get some food. Uh, what do I get? Mm, attack up. You think it's a good theory? I don't know, it's what I'm sticking with at the moment. Just what came to my mind as when last time we were around this place he was talking about how no one has this seen river. the motherland Why it rivals the cooking of my own chefs in the past. yeah 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 All right you like it all right we've got something that way we already bumped into one of his old friends who was a bit mean to him. Uh oh. Damn it. Lenigus soldiers. Any way we can avoid fighting them? That all depends on them. Whatever happens, be ready. Ah, that's gonna be a nope. We are definitely in for a fight. Well, so much for them not wanting to fight. Oh, I am Lord Dohalim of Elden Menestia. I command you. The rest of the city must be erased. No. Have they been brainwashed too? Brainwashed or not. If they want to fight, they got one. Well, it looks like they're definitely in for a fight and their faces have been brainwashed. It. Yeah, hang on, we're a bit in the middle of something. Shit. And Rimwell can't use her thing, so it doesn't matter either way. Break the shield. And just deal with this one guy, and we're going to be done. seem different from the citizens we've come across so far hmm yeah they weren't big talkers that's for sure they just attacked without warning they weren't in the least bit faced by Dohalim's presence either indeed they seem to recognize us as enemies nothing more and yet traditionally Lenigus hasn't been high on threats a few frenzied zoogles during experiments here and there but not much else their glazed over eyes reminded me of the soldiers and slaves we met back in Ganeth Haros. The ones in blind devotion to Voron. Mm. I've never seen anything like that here on Lenigus before. Maybe someone doesn't want us here, and the soldiers are their way of letting us know. What with the Red Woman, the Sovereign, and Voron, we're starting to develop quite the growing list of adversaries. At least we'll know to keep our wits about us. Now this place sounds like it's going to be fun then. Alright. What is the place look like? 
Alright. I got an idea of where to think. So, how have we been? What we've been up to? Anything nice? Uh, oh, big guy. Gonna have to fight that. This way, this way, this way. Oh, they're green doggies. Hi, You're the alpha. Yeah. Have we? What have we been up to? Have we done anything nice? That's that new stuff. Ooh, uh... Ah, I can finally get that thing. What's all this? What's these ones? Mysterious crest. Uncover the ultimate ingredient. Alright. Back in we go. Oh, here you can fight one of the big guys already. Oh, it's a mantis. Oh yeah, I finally figured out how to turn that, uh... No, I didn't, because I... clearly this is how it's playing out. I thought I turned this off. Mommy's angry. Oh, it's very warm today as well. It's gotten hot again all of a sudden. Oh, Lee, you just die already. Yes, it is very hot today. Apparently it's supposed to get hotter from what I'm told. Oh shit, that's the wrong thing. Come on, kill it! Kill it! <sighs> oh, thank you on the heat. Well, I can't control it as much as I'd like to. Some people need recovering. Sure, why not? Um, so can I turn that thing off now? Well, well, you can have a crack at turning it off if you like. Where was it? Reduced all damage boosts taken and inflicted. No, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. I 
Was it this one? Swap. Ah, yeah, here it is. All right. Hopefully that now I get that thing off. I won't forgive you. Uh oh. Uh, that one. No. Go. Oh no, one of the dogs is still alive. Come on. Oh, it's still on. There we go. Got it. Alright. Well, that's good. Uh, okay. Gotta go that way, but what's over this way? Ooh, a shortcake recipe. Everyone likes a bit of shortcake. Dohalim's thing isn't charged up, so I'm gonna have to wait. Shit, shit, get up. Up now. Yes, there we go. I finally got it turned off. Now we can deal with these things. Alright. With this, I can become even stronger. Where are we off to? We've got to go this way first. Just this way. Cool. Just so it says I got everything. Soldiers don't seem to have any qualms about attacking on sight. Is someone making them stand guard over the Forbidden Zone? Maybe. Okay. Uh, let's just have a quick check. Should I... No, let's just go. That's far enough. Uh, this thing again. Come on. Shit. It's still going to be alive once it comes out of this. There we go. It's still alive. Hang down and die. Shit, shit, shit. Kisara is angry again. And you won't like her when she's angry. That's that we done with. Really make weapons with this? Yep. That's the way to go, so we want to go this way first. Alright. Ah. Well, this is going to be fun. Gotta break through. No further. Take this. I'm ready. Shit. Shit. Now we can Barely explore what's in here. Our radar. Ooh, some pebbles. Red sage. Bright stone. And some more Renegy regenerative crystals. Alright. Shit, wrong. No, I wanted that. No, that's what I wanted. 
Yeah, so what I was told, apparently I'm not too far away from the end of this, but apparently there are some extra bits you can do after you finish the main game. I'm not 100% sure if you'll check that out. Maybe. Okay, we'll, we'll see when we get close to the end. Nope. Got it. Alright. I can feel my power growing. You sure can. More of these guys. No. Okay, it's just that room that we have to explore before going all the way in. Alright, let's go. Lord. Oh, okay then. Seems about right to me. It's in here first. Money. And... It's just the way forward. Just the way forward. Uh. Ooh, cutscene. Take a bit of a sip of my drink. This must be it. The entrance to the Forbidden Zone. But it's just a wall. How do we get through? Whoa, we? I thought this was Sovereigns only. Alfin. Open the door. I'm back. We're good. Uh, what was I didn't have any problems with Final Fantasy on Thursday. Seems to always happen with Tails. Oh, else. Way. It would seem the sovereign of three centuries ago and now are considered one and the same. So that kind what? of. What the? You again. Yeah, Tomorrow, definitely this game. Channeling ceremony. We'll finally play our parts as the sovereign and maiden. How have you been feeling? What am I sovereign of? Shuffled from lab to lab, always treated like an experiment. Whenever they look at me, all they see is a Danon. I don't even know what their precious ceremony's for. Let alone what they're going to force me to do as the Sovereign. Yeah, that kind of brings my theory up in uh, weight, I think. Because if Alphen's the Sovereign, it will a Sovereign, and he can open the door in Lenigas. So, surely the uh, Renans have some relation to the Danans in some way. Tell me, if we're both in the same boat... Why do you seem so calm right now? No choice. Becoming the Maiden's not something I wanted for myself. But they... They said Rena's prosperity depended on it. How could I say no after that? Still, as a Renan, yes. at least you got to decide. Good for you. Meanwhile, I was taken from my homeland. You aren't the captive one here. It isn't right what they did to you. And I'm sorry for what it's worth. When this is over... I swear I'll help you get home. I can't do this alone. One more day. How could I say no to that? It's not like I have any choice in the matter anyway. So, what's your name? It's Naori. Naori Imeris. Hi! I to remember this time. You don't act like them. Like the other Renans, I mean. How come you treat me like a person? Because you are. It's true we come from different worlds. 
But neither one of us asked to be here right now. In that sense, you and I are much the same. We couldn't do this. We wouldn't be able to talk to each other as people. If we didn't see the humanity in each other. So I suppose the question you should be asking is, why wouldn't I treat you like one? You're not like the others. Maybe they're not like me. Here's what we'll do. We give them their damn ceremony. You get me to Dana. That'll be the end of it. Deal. I'm taking you at your word on this. I'm trusting you, not them. Nayori. What the hell just happened? That vision. Did everyone else see it too? Ooh. That person Alvin was speaking to. She looked exactly like Shion. And the butterfly wings. It was Naori. Naori Imeris. Isn't that right? <sighs> yeah, that's right. She really does look like Shion. I'm beginning to see why Alvin was so confused. That's all very well and fine, but what did we just witness exactly? It was too real to be a mere hallucination. It was a conversation we had 300 years ago. The night before the ceremony. You mean Ooh. all of that really happened? We just saw an episode straight out of your past? But how is that even possible? Unless... Could this be the Red Woman's handiwork too? No, I don't think so. Why not? You guys didn't feel it? The moment the entrance opened, it was like a stream of Dan and Astral energy rushing over us. I felt it too. And not for the first time either. It was the same sensation as back inside the wedge. That would make sense. After all, vast amounts of Dana's astral energy were being siphoned and sent up here to Lenigus. For all we know, perhaps we're close to the spot where all that energy was stored. So you think it might have been the energy itself that was responsible for that vision we just saw? But how? And why? We have no way of knowing. Maybe it's not even as deliberate as all that. <sighs> Shion, you okay? Yeah. It was all just a little sudden. That's all. Mm -hmm. So that was my ancestor, huh? It was like looking into a mirror. Yeah, there certainly is a resemblance. What about you? How are you holding up? Me? Bit as a fiddle. Even putting aside the question of where that vision came from, it's likely we'll see more of those. Reliving painful episodes from your past. Do you think you can handle it? I can't just pretend like the past never happened. Besides, if it helps us uncover the truth of what that ceremony really was, it might also lead to answers about your thorns. Alfin. That's not all. This whole time, we've been fighting to free Dana from the Renans. But now that we're here, it seems those same Renans might have it just as bad. I'd like to liberate them too, if I can. Which is just another reason I can't afford to shield my eyes from the truth. Whether you're on Dana or somewhere else, you always stay the same. Your indignation and righteous passion, your desire to free and protect, they're all hardwired into you. Oh, how can you say? Not that I'm complaining. That is with that Come cute on, little smile. This thing wide open. Nobody's here. Stay sharp. After that last illusion, there's no telling what could happen in here. And by the looks of things, we're heading into a boss. Right. Heal up. Ah, oh, it's just two rooms. So who are we going to fight here? Big dog, centipede again, some chimera hybrid of the two. Ah, the mean lady. Faria, how did you get in here? Wait, something about her isn't right. 
What's wrong with her? She doesn't even seem to know where she is. Yeah, you're right. She looks just like the soldiers we encountered outside. Ooh, she's got one of those core crystals. And she's summoning a demon. A summoning? But that's preposterous. She never had that kind of power when- We can talk later. Here it comes. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. What? Tormented limbs. If you say so. Ah, Master Ball. Where did you get our hands on that? First we handle the Zubas. Then we get the Masters. Shit. Oh. Okay. Ah. Just kick its butt already. Come on. Gotta break that core. There we go, core broken. Everyone, go! Dodge, 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 dodge! Shit! Uh... And there goes Rinwell. Actually. Come on, bring it down. Now, Rinwell, you're sitting this one out. And he's got his core back, so we might want to aim for that. Not actually doing too bad with it. I say that, and now it's just gone into hyper mode. Shit, 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 dodge. And there goes Law. Just keep dodging. And down I go. I'm out of ammo. Nearly dead. You surely can do that. And miss all the fun. There he goes, Alphen. Go on then. Oh, its core's broken. It surely can't be long done. Ah, there we go. Ah, crap. And there goes its thing again. Dodge, 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 dodge. And there goes everyone else. Come on. You're nearly dead. Come on. 
Got it. Hopefully we can go. You better not summon another thing. Faria, can you hear me? Faria. She's preparing another summoning. The she won't shoot it out of her hand. Too powerful to control. At this rate, her body won't be able to take much more. Don't believe. Took it long enough. Forgive me. Now she's going to be pissed at you for two different reasons, for killing her husband and punching yeah, her in the I stomach. We were goners. Everything okay? Yes. She's only unconscious. Not her. I meant you. Shion, please. Can you treat her? I can try, but I can't promise she'll be back to her real self when she wakes up. All I can do is heal her physically. We're not even supposed to be in here. Maybe it'd be better if we moved her to somewhere a little safer. Don't hmm. you think? In that case, I'll take her off your hands. You? Avakir, what are you doing here? Uh, another I one of Devlin's friends. You were up to, so I took the liberty of following you to find out. I overheard what you said about Tarnigan, about how he really died. I'm sorry, I had no idea. And you believed me? What makes you so sure I wasn't lying? I like to think I know you a little better than that, Dohalin. Give me some credit. <laughs> I'll take Faria. Leave her with me. I know better than to ask what you're up to. But whatever it is, I hope it all works out. Aww. Thank you. Bro hug. No? Okay. He seems like a good friend. He hasn't changed. He never was one to stand out. Instead, he was always hanging back, worrying about everyone else. As for Faria, it's always the closest to me who get hurt. You don't seriously blame yourself for what happened to her, do you? Somebody got to her, to strike back at me. Someone who knew me well enough to know that I'd hesitate to fight back. And the same goes for you as well. Neither you nor Faria would have lost loved ones. If it wasn't for me. You're wrong. Kelzalik was the one who killed my brother. Under orders from Almadria. Mm. As for Tarnigan, if it weren't for the crown contest, he'd still be alive. That and the whole damn hierarchy that makes it possible. But that's why we're fighting. To put an end to this whole messed up system that treats people as expendable. Indeed. Reading society of this blight is really the only way I know how to atone for my sins. You can't atone, Dohalim. <laughs> I know it hurts to hear, but those people are dead. No amount of soul-searching or trying to make amends is going to change that. So cheer up, pretty boy. Forgiveness, acceptance, those ships have sailed. So I just forget the harm I caused? No, the opposite, in fact. You remember. You never forget. You keep it in your heart always. And then you go on living. Not for those already passed, but for those still alive. For those still alive. Kisara's right. So long as we've still got breath in our bodies, we can make a difference in the lives of others. Lives being the operative word. That's what living's all about. Being able to still make a difference. Punishing yourself for the past won't make the pain of your conscience go away. Only fixing the problem in its stead. Is that what you're saying? That's right. You have to live for tomorrow, Dohalim. Not for yesterday. And not only that, <coughs> you need to live for yourself. Pardon me. And for the change that you still can be. <sighs> I shall try. Don't forget, we've still got a mystery to solve. The Forbidden Zone, remember? Me. Shion. Huh? Thank you. You have my deepest gratitude for what you did for Faria. Glad to be of service.
Let's go. We could stop Faria without hurting her. You all did much for her as well. I'm most grateful. Oh, shucks. We're on the same team, right? Let's move on. And hopefully she'll learn to forgive us. And I forgot to press the thing to give us our skip. Oh well. Hopefully we can get it afterwards. What is it, Rinwell? Do you hear something again? Yeah. Oh, she's hearing voices again. Someone get the medication. That voice. The will of Dana's astral energy. Ah. Uh -oh. You gonna get another flashback? Mm, glowy. What? There's so much astral energy. But where's it all coming from? It's almost like it's alive. Hmm. You okay? Oh, so the fawns come from her, did it? Uh oh. There we go. Uh oh. Alfred! What's going on? That was the spirit channeling ceremony just now. No, it was more than that. What the hell was that? It felt like everything was on the brink of... Like the whole world was seconds from... Oblivion. It's the same vision as the one my thorns show me. A vision of impenetrable darkness that swallows up us and everything else. An empty void. A nothing so complete and dominating that there aren't even words to describe it. Mm. The end of time. The visions of the apocalypse you've been seeing. If I'd known how bad they were, I... And there's the wings. Uh, so, everything we just saw, those were Naori's memories, right? That's Seems right. to be. It was as if her innermost thoughts were speaking directly to us. At least I know they weren't mine. That power flowing into her... It reminds me of Xion's thorns. If they're what's responsible for all these visions she's been having, then maybe... Maybe my thorns are made from that same astral energy? If that is the case... We just found the missing link between your thorns and what happened here three centuries ago. No, more than a link. Perhaps even the very heart of the matter. I've never felt astral energy so powerful. What was that? If it's the same energy your thorns are made of, it must be dark astral energy, right? And isn't that something only Renans have? Correct. Dark astral energy is possessed by Renans alone. And when enough astral energy gathers together, it develops its own form of sentience. If so, 
Maybe that complete oblivion is exactly what the Ren and Astral Energy's will is wishing for. But why? I don't know. Will can be a pretty vague thing to nail down. It's more of a feeling. Just like the will of Dana. But the will of Dana is made up of astral energy too, right? And if that's what's been showing us these visions... I don't know, should we really be getting so involved with this thing? Dana's will would never want oblivion! But you can't say that for sure! Cut it out, you two. Squabbling over theories will get us nowhere. Hmm. <sighs> Let's keep moving. If it's Dana's will showing us these memories, then I'm as clueless about its motives as any one of us. But if it could lead us to the truth, then I want to find out more. Shion's right. All we can do is keep going. If these really are Naori's memories we're watching, there could be truths in them I was never aware of. And I think they may be the kinds of truths I need to confront if we're going to keep fighting. I'm sorry about what I said earlier. Come on, let's go. Finally. Uh, we begin to understand what the thorns are. Yes, and their source. A ceremony that occurred three centuries ago. But we still don't know how to get rid of them. I just hope we can find a way. I uh, don't know. Nothing's... I thought maybe she fucked up the uh, ceremony that made the thorns come about, but I don't know. I'm just rambling here. I'm just... Blah. Let's just look at this skit. Do you think Faria was really being controlled by someone? Certainly seen that way. The question is, who? The Red Woman? The same person who's behind all of this, I'll bet. Whoever that is. Brainwashed or otherwise, the feelings of resentment she holds towards me are real. Someone used her because they knew we'd hold back. If that's not playing dirty, I don't know what is. It does tell us one thing, at least. Someone here in Lenegas is watching us. Someone who means us harm. There's no question. That attack was meant for us alone. By someone capable of getting inside a person and manipulating them like a weapon. We need to find whoever it is, fast. I do wonder if the Red Woman came about because of the ceremony and she's linked to Xion's thorns, though. That's also what I think is also coming to mind. That vision we saw. It was as if it was meant specifically for us. What do you make of it? Do you still think the will of Dana might be involved somehow? Maybe it's trying to tell us something. But what? Well, it could be supernatural. You know, like seeing dead people, messages from beyond the grave, ghost type stuff. That's your grand theory? That we're being haunted? Come on, Law. Wait. He might be closer to the mark than you think. What if a person's thoughts and deeds were to somehow become indelibly etched into the ether of a place? And what if those with a connection could then somehow pick up on them? You think that's what it was? Some kind of message someone left here for us? I am merely entertaining the possibility whether it was Dana's will, or somehow connected to the Sovereign and Maiden's powers, I do not know. Okay, back up a sec. You're saying that if a place is full of enough astral energy, it can somehow show us events that happened centuries ago? Hmm. More to the point, how does that much astral energy <coughs> gather in one place anyway? Seems unlikely it happened naturally. Whatever it was, it survived here intact for 300 years. Whoever left it for us, the strength of their intent is beyond doubt. The strength of their intent? <sighs> then this could have all been planned out, maybe? By the will of Dana? I have no control over this part. So, that's... Again, rambling. Soon, we might very well learn the truth behind Xion's thorns. As well as my own past, I have to be ready to face anything. Whatever happens, 
The only way is forward. To save Shion and Dana. Nothing I learned can change that. Well, at least it's making sense to you, I suppose. What is the place look like? We've got places here, here, and here. So let's go further on ahead. Hold up, you guys. What is it? I want to look through that room over there. I'm curious what we'll find. That's Can I explore first? In your past, right? Sure. We can check it out. Fuck you, I'm exploring we go first. That room some more before we move on. We no, it's not letting me. Oh. This looks like some kind of research facility. A laboratory secreted away in the Forbidden Zone. Why am I past being surprised at this point? Looks pretty deserted. Let's check it out. It might give us a new lead. Alright. The Forbidden Zone. For the people of Lenegas, the Forbidden Zone is the stuff of dreams. Yet here I am, standing within its hallowed halls. It's off limits even for lords, then? Talk about an exclusive club. Being exclusive is one thing, but how many important facilities let in only the Sovereign? Doesn't that seem a little strange? Strange doesn't cover it. If it was only one room, maybe. But a place on this scale? How do they keep it from falling into ruin? Hmm. Whoever the Sovereign is, they can't manage the upkeep of this whole place themselves. Did no one ever talk about it when you were growing up? No, not that I can remember. Then again, Sovereigns and Forbidden Zones weren't exactly breakfast table conversations. The Forbidden Zone is a hallowed place, at one with the Sovereign's authority. Grounds of the one true ruler who presides over all Renans. That is what we believed this place to be. No, what we were made to believe it was. But now, it is finally time to discover this area's true purpose and why it was kept hidden behind the scenes for so long. Could be that once they. The so one of the sovereign probably hired people to get this place tip top shape and when they leave they get their memory wiped. Ooh, a computer. Hmm. I think I can make this work. Well, can you make head or tail of it? These are experiment records by the looks of it. Reams of them, dating back hundreds of years. Hmm. Let's see. A composite being capable of controlling Dan and astral energy, so as to convert its molecular and elemental makeup. The creation of a governing central figure, taking the form of a Danon. Code name Sovereign. 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 Wait, there's more. Research into utilizing force field crystals for the purpose of stable astral energy containment. That must be the master course. Right. With all this raw data, there's bound to be records here somewhere about the Maiden and the Lords, too. About the Lords? Why would they be on there? Think about it. The Lord's crests are clearly of a piece with those of both the Sovereign and the Maiden. Not to mention the fact that the contenders to the Crown are selected from otherwise regular Renan citizens. In other words, it may be that all Renans are unwittingly being made subject to some kind of... grand scheme. What about the Sovereign? Does it say anything else? Where do I start? All I've read so far is the headlines. There's so much here. 
To sift through all of it would require specialized... Wait. What is it? Did you find something? It's a list of names. With the title, Test Subjects, Sovereign. It's your call. Read it. There must be dozens of test subjects listed here. Hundreds even. All of them failures. Wait. I think I've found one that was successful. Test subject number 1273. Ethnicity, N.A. Unique adjustment index, generation, N.A. Given name, Alphen. <sighs> Don't stop there, keep going. They re-engineered me. Right here in this lab. Ah. Alfin. It's fine, really. What about the others? Was I the only one? Test subject number 10105. Ethnicity, N.A. Unique adjustment index, generation, N.A. Given name, Volron. Volron? But that means... He's only sovereign because someone made him that way too. So he has some sort of relations with He's Alfin? The last one. In three centuries worth of records, you and Volron are the only two subjects on whom the experiment was a success. But what about the winners of the crown contests? Does this mean that none of them were ever crowned sovereign after all? Upon victory, the sovereign shall return to Rena and rule over Rena and Lenegus combined. When a new sovereign is decided, the outgoing monarch shall relinquish their post and live out the rest of their days on Rena. So we were told. But according to these records, there have only ever been two sovereigns. Neither of whom had anything to do with the crown contest. It's all lies. Including the part about the Sovereign residing in Rena. Hmm. The crown contest was never about deciding a new ruler. It must always have been devised for some other purpose. But even supposing that's true, someone must have been in charge for the past three centuries, right? If it wasn't the Sovereign, then who was it? Crown contests have been held this whole time, in spite of the fact that there was already a sovereign, me. Meaning that for the past 300 years, someone out there has to have been maintaining that lie. The same person I'm willing to bet is behind all this. The Red Woman? It's possible. But that doesn't necessarily mean she's the mastermind behind this scheme. She hmm. could be working for someone else. Someone back on the Renan homeworld. Either way, it's fair to say she's definitely involved somehow. What about the data records? Is there no other information that could help us? Not that I can see. Just file upon file of experiment results. There's nothing here about who's behind all this. Or what their end game is, unfortunately. I've barely managed to scratch the surface, mind you. You won't be able to read through it all, but you're welcome to take a look through what you can while we're here. I'll do that. So, is there a possibility that Volron so could this also? This is where Alfin became the sovereign, and Volron as well. The significance of this location would suggest... Hey, it looks like the terminals in here turned on too. We should look through them. They might contain valuable information. Is it possible that Volron's also Danon like Alphen, if he was subject to the same experiments? Sovereign Act, Central Control, Device, Ceremony. One is granted level 2 authority and, I and an ID crest. A Danon subject, ser Danon's subject serves as the base of its creation. So the sovereign obviously came from the Danon race. 
In theory, ideal candidates possess equal affinity for every astral element. However, such aptitude is tactically rare to uncover within the real world conditions. As a result, most subjects die during adjustment periods and stability is still not guaranteed for those who survive it. This instable Instability coupled with the sovereign's power of astral manipulation poses a high risk to the security of Valenigus if left unchecked. As such, stabilization measures must be put in place via support me me mechanisms while utilizing the sovereign in the spirit channeling ceremony. Addendum 1. No effects alternative methods to perform the ceremonies have been found. Trials on Danny's subjects are authorised to continue. Uh, Addendum 2. Unit 2 adjustments are successful. Subquest adjustments are to be put on hold while extend extended observations take place. Select topic to explore. Maybe that could be because the only one that was successful was a Danon. So it could be that to have a maiden and a sovereign, you need a Danon and a and a oh, what's that? A, a Renan. Hang on, there's some more information on the ma on the maidens here. The maidens act as the sovereign's support mechanism for the spirit chanting ceremony each one is granted level 2 authority and an id crest a renin subject serves as its fun uh, functions so it could be that they yeah, to have a sovereign and a maiden you need a danon and a renin uh, providing the sovereign with the sub suplem Our supplemental dark astral is lacked in tandem with Renan elements. Yeah, because the de the um, Renans can use dark astral arts, where only the Danans can use light astral arts. So could it be you need one of light and dark to create whatever is needed the sovereign and the maiden for? During the ceremony, it is particularly partly responsible for the astral energy conversion, as well as maintaining stability over the sovereign's own power. Additionally, the, the degree of intimacy between it and the sovereign has been observed to possibly impact the level of stability in both subjects. So probably by the sounds of it, they have to have a, a connection of some sort. Because of this trial activation of the Sovereign without the Maiden, presses presents are expressly forbidden. Furthermore, neither the Sovereign nor the Maiden are to be informed about the details of the Spirit Channeling Plan. Addendum. Addendum 1. Men mental instability in the Maiden has been deemed to cause the past Sovereign's rampage. Con or I don't know. Must be considered. Addendum 2. In line with plan adjustments, the current subject will have its Maiden restraints revoked and be returned to its original household ah so maybe it's the role of the maiden was also passed down through the generations that's why everyone was going after Shion and that's why she has her thorns 
Master Core, Spirit Core. Is this just going to just tell me about the Master Cores and Spirit Cores? What does everyone, what's all the others say first before I decide if I want to be interested? Lords, unique element index test subjects. I don't know. The problem is if I read all of these, I'm probably going to be here all day. Uh, sedative, mass, and brainwashing. Actually, this will actually give more on um, Alphen's mask. A device covering the wearer's whole face that restricts their mental activity. It was developed for the purpose of petrifying prisoners. Medical applications are also recognized participately as a means of preventing patterns from, from sustaining mental trauma. However, doing so is not recommended as the prolonged use of this device carries a risk of including a number of adverse side effects. Addendum, due to the loss of the pro the production facilities encouraged from the partial destruction of our partial destruction of Venegas. Additional devices will no longer be manufactured. Ah, so that tells us about what happened to Alphen's mask. It's basically just like a sedative, and it's just to keep prisoners in line. Brainwashing report. After receiving reports of the robust new form of rule, rule emerging in Dana, Water's Realm, a study was commissioned to investigate the matter in depth. The system is unique in there that it elevates only the Lord as a, as a supreme authority whilst regaling both Renans and Danans alike to enslavement. Uh, test subject 10105 serving as the realm's current Lord as an achievement without using any special powers, drugs or special devices. Rather than it has done so by sheer governess, given the method effectiveness, if that 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 effectiveness at population control, monitoring the situation will continue. Addendum: collapse of cognitive facilities via extreme mental impressions rooted in violence and fear has provoked the key to system of rule. Once a subject loses its autonomy, autonomy, they become desensitized to fear and subsequent causes the priorities even their own personal safety though such a state is still suited for commanding officers it remains it remains an effective way to cultivate disposable infantry and slaves for manual labor addendum 2 soldiers in lenigus who have undergone these treatments will be asked to secure classified sectors as a trial. Uh, the results will be monitored. Select topic to explore. Okay. So it gave us a bit of backstory on the masks that Alfred was wearing and a bit on brainwashing. Could that be the uh, thing we saw with Volron when he was his realm, his lord realm. Lenigus detachable harvester. I think we're good. If I start, if I try reading everything, we're just going to be here all day. 
So we're just going to watch this uh, skip and I'm going to have a drink. Only two sovereigns in over 300 years. So why has the experiment only succeeded twice in all this time? And if that's the case, why keep on doing it? Was there really no other way? Or could there be some other reason? Dohalim. <laughs> uh, forgive me. Alfin. Uh, I'm fine. I'm just a little shaken, that's all. I knew what I was already. So it's not like it's a surprise or anything. Mm. But it's strange. I've got all this rage inside of me, but I don't even know who it's for. I'm scared that I'll put a face to it. Just to have someone to blame. If that were to happen, then I... No. Then we'd help you fight it. Before you ever got that far. <sighs> wouldn't we, everyone? Yeah. We wouldn't just sit by and watch you spiral out of control. That's mm. right. No good can come from being consumed by hatred. If you ever start to lose your way, you can count on us to guide you back. To remind you where home is. And I would be happy to lend an attention. Did you say ho where home me. is or homies? <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I think I'll be okay now. Because for a sec, I don't know what. I think my headphones went a bit funny for a second there because I thought she said to remind you where we are, where home is, not where home is. Home is. <laughs> Though it would have been funny if she did say to remind you where home is. Not some life bottles. Can't use this computer. Anything in here? See a lot of numbers, like logos. Nothing good. Ah. <coughs> Pardon me. Alright, how's everyone? Do it. Better recover. And still couldn't get any of the find any more gold gel. You lost it at home thing. <laughs> I don't know, just what it sounded like. Probably do need to buy some new headphones though. There we are, there's the mass. Mayori, I... I... Don't talk. Just sleep. I have to do this. I gave you my word that I'd help you return to Dana. The next time you open your eyes, you'll be home. But you... My place is here with my people. I still have a duty to fulfill. I'm sorry for what you've endured. Rena never should have dragged you into this. It's not your burden to bear. What? The mask contains a sedative. It should keep your mind from tearing itself apart any further. Let yourself go to sleep. Okay. This should help with the pain. Time to go, Elfin. Farewell. Bye, Naori. Naori. His injuries are worse than I thought. Short-term treatment isn't going to cut it. I'll have to switch the healing pod to long-term hibernation mode. The chance of surviving hibernation's less than 10%? Uh-oh. Worse. Long-term use of the mask carries a high risk of damaging his mind and nervous system. Uh-oh. What? <sighs> if I don't head back, Lenigus will be nothing but ashes. And this starship along with it. I 
don't know if I can fulfill my promise to you, Alfin. But if... If doing this will grant you even the slightest chance, I have to try. I hope it's enough. Please, live for me, Alfin. I try. <sighs> that vision. It must have been from when Naori helped Alfin escape Lenigus. Hmm. She sure went above and beyond the call of duty. Even with Lenigus crumbling down around her, she chose to stay put with her people. So that's why you lost your memories and sense of pain, and why you were asleep for that whole time. It was all the result of one agonizing decision Naori made to save your life. Yeah. If it weren't for her, I wouldn't even be alive today. I owe her everything. More than I could ever hope to repay. Now that you know how she felt, how do you plan on honoring her wishes? Hug she on. She looks like her. her promise. If the Renan people she fought so desperately to protect are at risk from a malevolent force, then I owe it to her to carry on her fight. Naori was the one who put that mask on me and made me Iron Mask. She did it to prevent your soul from tearing itself apart. She knew you might lose your memories and sense of pain as a result. But more than anything, she wanted you to survive. And you did. Oh. Alright. Let's go. We can punch the big guy's face in. What is this? Alright. Anything? I've got a feeling there's a boss in here. But there is a chest over here. And there's also a chest in this one. No? No, just a dead end. All right, through the doors we go. Oh, it looks like the um, the wedge. This place, oh. we've seen this in one of Naori's memories. Of course. After three hundred years. This is where it was held. The spirit channeling ceremony. Meet. This is where the Renis Alma was. So this is the place where you and Naori... The Renis Alma isn't here now. Nor is the Red Woman, it seems. I know it's difficult, Alfin. But there will be time to dwell on the past later. For now, we need to keep moving. Come on. <gasps> Naori. Hi. What is this? Is it the work of Dana's will again? It's been a year since the ceremony. What? That day, I shut away inside of myself the power that caused Elfin to lose control. Since then, my visions of the future have grown more and more fearsome. Is this another memory? No, it's different this time. It's like she's speaking directly to us. <sighs> what we did back then. Not so much as a day passes when I don't think about it. About what was done to us. All in the name of a ceremony. The purpose of which we were never even told. 
A sovereign? They linked Elfin's consciousness to Lenigus itself. The Renis Alma was intended to control his power, lest anything should slip through its cracks. That day, as Maiden, my role was to temper his power. I was meant to guide it forth, and give shape to the strength inside of him. Hmm. Linked to Lenigus itself? But then, everything that's been happening... But that power showed me a vision. A vision of oblivion. When I realized that vision was a prophecy of the apocalypse we were about to unleash, I couldn't go through with it. But without a maiden, the ceremony was doomed. Alfin lashed out, his consciousness no longer his own. I did what I could. Using my abilities as the maiden, I tried to seal that power away inside of me. Ah, right, so you fucked up. But it was too late. Lanigus had already been brought to its knees. Thousands upon thousands of lives so cruelly snuffed out. All because of me. Because of what I had done. With the destructive force now slumbering inside of me, I knew I had to find a way to dispose of it. Anything to make up for my failure. But I didn't know how. Especially since that power was astral energy itself. In which case, ironically enough, the Renis Alma seemed to be my best bet. That, at least, would hold the astral energy dormant. Assuming that no malevolent third party got to it first. With the Sovereign and Maiden's combined power, perhaps I could shift the chaotic energy inside me into the Renis Alma instead. But that led to creating the thorns? That's what I hoped, but alas, it was not to be. The Renis Alma was lost, and Alfin the Sovereign was in a starship bound for Dana. My only choice was to seal away the destructive force inside of me using my powers as the Maiden, to buy the world what little time I could. The time needed for a new Renis Alma to be crafted, and for a new Sovereign to appear. Even if by doing so, it meant I would be passing the curse on to my descendants as well. Oh, there we go. Please, forgive me. I never meant to burden the future world with this threat too. I only wish that there was something more I could have done. Wait, you can't just... Still got a few more questions, but I think we at least we know where the fawns hey, came from. That message just now, was it directly from Naori? Or was it the Danon voice speaking through her? Ooh, we got new duds. The butterfly wings don't match now. What? These are the clothes that Naori and I wore during the ceremony three centuries ago. So you're saying this is the maiden's outfit? That's right. These clothes are designed to resonate with the sovereign and maiden's abilities. They focus and enhance them. And they appeared now because... Naori must have left them here for the new Sovereign and Maiden, knowing the day would come when they would need them in their fight against the Thorns. These outfits are directly linked to the answers we've been chasing this whole time. If they're here, it must mean it was Naori's will for us to find those answers as well. Locating the Renis Alma would allow us to neutralize the dark astral energy inside Xion thereby silencing her thorns. 
Is that what Naori's suggesting? It mm. makes sense. After all, master cores and spirit vessels are both able to prevent the astral energy inside them from developing sentience. By that logic, it would stand to reason that the Renis Alma would have the same ability on a larger scale. We have a maiden and sovereign. Now all we need is the Renis Alma, and we'll finally be able to free you of your thorns. Right. Shion. It's possible? You really think so? I do. And it's blocking his face. And stop the world from falling to oblivion. However, the spirit channeling ceremony already failed once. Even if our goal is different this time, we can't be sure the same thing won't happen again. We should take care not to be too optimistic. You're right. It's the barest sliver of a chance. But if there's even the slightest hope it can work, I'm willing to stake everything I've got on it. I... I know it's too early to let myself feel relieved, but... I just can't seem to help it. Just hearing there's the slightest chance, even though I know the world's still in great peril. It's selfish of me, I know, but... But still... No, it isn't! You found hope to believe in. It'd be strange if you weren't over the moon about it. Rinwell's right. Aww. We can rid you of your curse and still save the world at the same time. And then we'll go out for tea. Thank you. Naori entrusted us with the fate of all humanity. Now, it's up to us to prove that trust was well placed. Starting with a little game called Hunt the Renis Alma. Yeah, we've come all this way. Now we just need to search Lenigus and Rena until we find it. Yeah, we can protect the world and save Xion at the same time. I too shall lend my services. My knowledge of Renan lore is bound to be a useful asset. And they say modesty is dead. Let's get to it. <sighs> Miracles just seem to follow wherever you go, huh? And da, 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 da. how do you know it's me they're following? We're all in this together, Shion. You included. Now let's get moving, shall we? Last I heard, we had an apocalypse to stop. Yes, let's get on that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Naori. No problem. So Naori sealed away the power that made me lose control of myself. She stopped my rampage and right. saved my life. But then, that power she'd sealed away was passed down to you. I'm so sorry, Xion. It's my fault that you're cursed. You're wrong. What happened to you was because of the ceremony and Naori's attempt to stop Oblivion. You paid a mm. heavy price for it and then fell asleep for 300 years. The reason you lost your memories is the reason for your curse the thorns those it all leads damn to spiky them. things but once they're gone we can finally put an end to all this when my thorns are gone i never dared to dream that such a thing could be possible no, maybe yeah i think we the should truth is i think maybe i've always been dreaming about a life without my thorns the touch of my family or playing with my friends Holding hands with Rinwell, or giving Law a deserved smack, <laughs> embracing everyone, all the normal things that people do together. I always wished I could experience them for myself, and finally know what they were like. Is mm -hmm. it really okay for me to believe it can happen? I'm so scared of getting my hopes up. What if it doesn't work out in the end, and... That's not going to happen. I'm here to make sure it won't. Forget fate or destiny or anything else. We're going to live <sighs> a normal life. There are a lot of things you still want to do, right? Oh, I've got a new sword as well, yeah. by the looks of things. You're right. It's such a strange feeling. I know that we've still got plenty of fighting up ahead. And it's for my sake. So I can live. You're worth fighting for. 
Oh, there we go. What do we get with this one? Uh, revelations. Ooh, it restores all uh, parties' um, HP. Put a pin on that one. Restores CP at the end of the battle while the effects from cooking are active. I kind of want them both. Uh, okay. And I got no points for... Oh, I got points for this one. And I can't spend any more points on anyone else. What's these things? That's the weapon and the uh, wedges. Yeah, there we go. New sword and new armor. First things first. Ooh, and a new backdrop. I like that one. Uh, Shion. Butterfly wings. Weirdly, that kind of also matches. Uh, we'll swap it with some angel wings. Hopefully, they won't get in the way here too much. Again. Sunglasses. I'm going to put these on, and not because I think she looks hot in them. Anything else? Weirdly, I think the monocle would suit Dohali. Oh, I can put the queen on my head. But does that mean if I get all the owls, that means I can put the king on my head? Shut up. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Alright. Uh, let's have a look. Okay. Oh, it's weaker than what I had on, so... I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Sounds like this Naori chick had quite the big heart. Her position demanded nothing less, from the sound of things. She didn't focus on differences, least of all those between Renans and Danans. Yeah, it was Naori who first showed me that such a thing was even possible. And then she saved my life by sending me back home to Dana. Not only that, but she willingly stayed behind on Lenegus for the sake of her people. It sounds like she was quite the hero, all right. A truly caring person. That's as if walls meant nothing to her. The ones separating the Renans from the Danans, or herself from others. She had no need for them. Which yeah. basically meant that she never had anything to break down in the first place, huh? Yeah. I think you may be right about that. You inherited that legacy. Her wish for the world. Don't I know it? She's kind of like a lodestar guiding our way, showing us what we can aspire to. Oh, that noise. Alright, now let's get the hell out of here. The role of the sovereign. Who gets a flowing new cape? Where's this gonna take us? Hopefully somewhere nice.
That's quite some door, all right. Hmm. This might finally be it. The heart of the beast. We'll find the Renis Alma and the Red Woman inside, right? After everything we've been through to get here, they damn well better be. We'll probably be needing you to open this one for us, Sovereign. Go for it, Alfin. We at the final boss already? This is it, guys. Time to see what secrets are in store. Sounds like it. Feels like it too. Oh, a strange manner. We're a long way from the residential quarters now. It looks completely different. Yeah, you're right. Actually, this place, it reminds me more of being back inside the wedge. Except the Dan and Astral energy feels even stronger here. In a portion of the city reserved purely for the Renan Sovereign. Maybe he just has strange tastes? This place looks like it has been here for quite some time now. If its design were a matter of personal preference, we would be talking from centuries ago. Or perhaps even further back. Still, this isn't the sort of decadence of taste spoken of in artistic circles. Mm. So what is it then? Hold up, decadence? Artistic circles? When a preference is indulged to its extreme, it descends into kitsch, eccentricity for the sake of it. I'd be happy to illuminate you further. That depends. Does it involve you buying me lunch? Yes. The void that art fills isn't the stomach, it's the soul. In that ah. case, I'll let you know the next time my soul starts to rumble. Now all we need is something to fill up the void inside your head. Shut up! Quit it, used to. She literally is that. There's like, you know, those tales in school where you get the person pulling the other person's head because she secretly likes them. Volron! He really was still alive. I thought he was and dead. The Renis Alma. Then, is this another spirit channeling ceremony? Wait, though. Something doesn't seem right here. Once more, the powers must be united. Born from the fires of chaos, the world does seek its rightful state. All must be sacrificed in the heart of Rena at the shrine uh -oh. of the true sovereign. But what has happened to him? He's lost himself, reduced to a mere cog in the machine. Hey, look! Over there! Isn't that... the Maiden's Crest? Can it be... that this entire chamber is meant to act as a substitute for the Maiden? Hmm. It looks like it's still running, but... are we already too late to stop the ceremony? If that's what caused Lenegas' transformation, then the purpose of the ceremony must have been to drain all the astral energy out of Dana. But for what purpose? What could possibly need astral energy on that sort of scale? I don't know. But whatever it is, I'll bet it's connected to those visions of oblivion. Regardless, we cannot stand by and let them steal Dana's energy. That said, we should retrieve the Renis Alma. Because right now, we need that most of all. Right. He's not gonna lunge at us out of nowhere, right? Not the time, Law. Alvin, look! Uh oh. The Red Woman. So we finally found you. I have a lot of questions for you. Wait. And you what? better answer. Uh, they all have the same face. How is that even possible? <laughs> there was multiple Red Women from the beginning. I don't know. What is this? Who the hell are they? It can't. Are they even 
people? It's hard to know for sure, but I think they're the true rulers of Rena. <sighs> Red woman one, red woman one, red woman They're one. Not feeling particularly talkative. It's no use, Elfin. If we don't fight, we may as well be sitting just here. Good point. Let's stop them before this gets out of hand. Crush! Tiger blade! Red up! Here I come! Eat this! Their offspring corrupted! Take this! Good! Now they can die! Shit! There we go. Ow. I never miss. Mommy's angry. I'll take you all on. Definitely. Alright, come on. I don't know, I thought they'd do something, considering they're full and dressed in armor. Very quiet. There's no background music, or is that just me? It is a bit quiet, so it's not just me. So all I can hear is them saying their attacks. They can't. There's no. There's no music. And now, oh crap! There goes Shion. And there goes Shion again. Can't trust that person for anything. Shit! Must run out of time to do the thing. All right. Gion, I need you back out. Down I go again. Uh, give me a life bottle. Mommy's angry again. Come on. They're nearly dead. They're nearly down. We done? Surrender! Fighting is useless now! Do you think it's really over? Hopefully. <sighs> Astral energy. Watch out! They've got something up their sleeve! <clears throat> What? It's self-destructed? Elfin! I'm okay. Just a little roughed up. You had me worried there. Who said you could touch that? You're still alive? Damn it! He's awake! Hmm. I should have thought as much. So you know this place? Naturally, it was.
was built for me, after all. We'll save that for another time. More pressing is how I'm going to tear you apart. Yeah, come down and say that. After all this time, you still insist on hating me? You cut me down. Sovereign or not, you will pay for that. Fine, just stab him. You're obviously bluffing. You can't even move right now. Really, is that what you think? Did you really think that such a petty device could hold me? Are you going to claim it's because you're a ruler? Be it sovereigns or lords. In the end, they're all titles given by someone else. Plus, what kind of ruler would spend all his time chasing Alf, who happens to be another sovereign? Idle prattle. I proved my worth and the sovereign's powers were granted to me. Were they really? We already know the title of sovereign doesn't denote royalty. It is but an overblown codename for those with the designated part to play in these proceedings. You mentioned before that you were not the only one stolen from Dana, correct? Yeah. There were countless. And every one of them besides me died. Mm. All of those failed experiments, and they still kept going back to Dana. There must have been some vital reason their subject had to specifically be a Danon. Then there were the records we found in the library, for you and Volron. They were locked 300 years apart, and yet the data they took from you was exactly the same. Which leads us to a single conclusion. Then you mean, Voron was kidnapped just like Alfin? But we knew it! A, a Hold it! From Dana. Just like us. Isn't that right, Volron? So he posed as a Renin and caused all that suffering to his own people? How could you? If you knew the pain of being a slave, why would you inflict that upon others? <laughs> Renin and Dan have meaningless distinctions. Me and everyone else. That is all that matters. <laughs> I will stand above all others and take what is rightfully mine, starting with this. Like hell you will. A red woman? Another one? Give your master back on Rena this message. No one makes a fool of me. Let them know I'll make them suffer. Uh oh. It's too late. We can't stay here. We need to go. Help it. Sion. Jump! We'll catch you! Do it! You missed. Oh, no. Don't you make that face at me. Go. But no, I will be your shadow no matter where you try to run.
Never forget, I am the one who devours everything. Who answers to neither spirit nor man. My word is law! I am... I am... You are... Are you two okay? Yeah. We'll be fine. Is Volron... Have we finally seen the last of him? We can but hope. Those red women... What the heck was their deal? Could they be the ones behind all this? The same ones who put those soldiers and Faria in a trance? What? Those brainless things? <sighs> Either way, they've done a runner with the Renis Alma. Damn it, that's the second time now! Whatever's stolen from us, we'll steal it back. The future's ours to protect. And right now, those things are what's standing in our way. We can head them off at Rena. Did you say Rena? Yes, he's definitely on fire. A master of theirs holed up in the motherland somewhere. If that monstrous forms their true identity, I he's had to the touch. Orders from. Yeah, there's a good chance it's not human. That's for sure. So this thing over on Rena. That's what's really behind all this, huh? They have the Renis Alma in their grasp already, so it's unlikely they'll have cause to return to Dana. I agree that Rena's our best shot. Then we're agreed. Let's head back to the starship. Right. But seriously, I was not expecting Voron to actually be here. He seemed to care not one whit about Brennan's or Dana's. Yeah, not in a good way like with us. And we still haven't hit, uh, what is it, the near the end of the game by the sounds of things. Starting to annoy me. You keep, you keep, uh, what is it, uh, giving me, what is it, uh, end of the end of game flags and not finishing it. I don't know. I'm blaming the heat. Oh, I finished this thing. I didn't see that coming about Volron. As for those red women, to think they were monsters all along. Hmm, tell me about it. One minute they look perfectly human. Next thing you know, they're not actually human at all. They definitely weren't Renan or Danon. I'm not even sure language would get through to them. So what were they then? Human Zugal hybrids? Probably. Is the most terrifying thing anyone said all day. How about you, Shion? Dorley? You ever seen anything like that before? No, never. However, if they're the same as the Red Woman we've seen with Volron, I think it's safe for us to assume they understand our language at the very least. I had just so much I wanted to ask them. About Rena and Shion's thorns. Unfortunately, they blew themselves up before we got the chance. Why would they do such a thing, though? To take us with them? Or in order to keep something hidden? I don't know to answer you even if you did. They took off with the Renis Alma too, remember? Yeah, they did. And the next time we meet them, we're going to make sure they tell us everything they know. I very much doubt they're going to tell you anything, because it doesn't seem like they can speak. Can I walk out of here? I cannot. So we're going to have to walk all the way back. What the? When did it get pitch dark all of a sudden? The lights are all out. Think it has something to do with the explosion back in the Forbidden Zone? 
But they don't have a night and day system. You two. She's gonna kick your ass. Aria, Avakir. Thank goodness you're safe. Avakir filled me in about everything. About how I ambushed you all. She doesn't remember a thing. So she really was being controlled. He told me about Tarnigan, too. Is it true? What difference does it make? What's done is done. Oh. Stop casting me off just for what? Faria, once. not now. It can wait. Dohalim, Lenegas is in grave peril. So I can see. It's the city's core reactor. It's damaged. Some of the basic systems we've managed to keep online, but complete restoration still a way off. You're an elite technician, though. You can fix it, right? If so, then what's the problem? Panic's begun to set in among the citizens. Until now, whenever something like this happened, the Sovereign would issue a decree. But this time, not so much as a peep. Any longer, and we run the risk of riots breaking out before we can get things back up and running. Forget the Sovereign. I doubt you'll be hearing from him anytime soon. What's that supposed to mean? Do you know something I don't? Quite a lot Suffice of things, actually. Say, the Sovereign isn't the kind of ruler we thought he was. Dun, dun, that dun. is, if he ever even existed. Which is looking doubtful at this stage. Are you out of your mind? Why, if people knew that a lord such as yourself was whispering such blasphemy, they'd... There's no time to explain now. It sounds like we need to find a way to keep Lenegas from spiraling out of control. We need to stop that riot. But how do we do that? Riots feed on discontent and unrest, right? So if we want to keep the peace, we just need to put people's minds at ease. At ease? Like by letting them hear directly from someone they trust? That's it. Who's the highest ranking person in Lenegas right now? Oh, Helene? Lenegas wouldn't have a next in line. After all, you said the Sovereign rules over everyone directly, right? Correct. The closest thing to an authority figure would be a lord. And the only one left is... Ah. Very well, then. Go on, go do your duties. Avakir, you mentioned a few facilities were still online. Which ones? Oh, why hasn't the Sovereign said anything? Please, won't somebody explain what's going on? Is it over? What's going to happen to all of us? Heed me now, fellow Renans of Lenegas. It is I, Lord Dohalim Ilkaris of Elder Men and Sia. Lord Dohalim! Crown contest. Shouldn't he? Why isn't the sovereign talking to us? The sovereign is dead. The sovereign is seeking to other matters right now. In my capacity as lord, I speak to you in his stead. You're afraid, as people so often are when faced with the unknown. I hope you'll allow me to put your fears to rest. The city's core reactor has experienced a malfunction. However, we have our top engineers attending to the matter, and things will soon be back to normal. I know that you feel abandoned, perhaps more scared and alone than ever before. But I ask you all to keep one thing in mind. You are Lenegas, not the lords and sovereign. The solidarity of its citizens is the mortar that holds it together. If we don't allow ourselves to be distracted by our differences, Put our hearts and minds together and stand as one. I am confident we will find new hope. I would be honored to stand with you. Not as a person of lofty or rank, but as another human being among many. I hope that you'll lend me your strength. For if we can persevere as one, I know a bright tomorrow awaits. <clears throat> Everyone bow before him and give him all your money. Your speech seems to have done the trick. Looks like the city won't be descending into chaos after all. 
I only pray the relief will tide the city over for the time being. What you said earlier... ...about the Sovereign possibly not even existing... ...was it true? It's... ...still too premature to say with any certainty... ...but I believe so. This whole time... ...this world we've been fed was a lie... ...built on nothing but falsehoods. But... ...it can't all have been... I can believe it. After everything I saw in the Forbidden Zone... ...what they did to Faria... ...it's the only explanation that makes sense. But what about Hierarchy of Akir, Authority... ...the very foundations of Renan society? Who needs How it? How can we live without someone to guide us? I'd say we've found someone capable of doing just that, wouldn't you? Y you You can't be serious. I have business I must take care of first. But once everything is over, I shall return. But not as your sovereign, nor as a leader the likes of which the people here are used to, I think. But... how else do you propose to rule? With magic! I'm not sure yet. All I have is a feeling that here in Lenigus, a new dawn is on the verge of breaking. One in which people won't be judged by birthright, or on the power of their astral arts, but on other things. More important things. Things like... Oh, I don't know. Musical talent, for example. Aww. When I bumped into you after all those years, I said you were no different. But I was wrong. Truth is, you were always different. And he looks I quite dapper. Like, like, maybe now I can finally begin to accept Turnigan's death. <laughs> to see a future. <laughs> you go finish whatever it is you've got to do. I'll hold down the fort here in Lenigus till you get back. Thank you. The shame I couldn't get a top hat. I think it'd go well, Miss Monocle. To men and see for the foreseeable future, huh? Indeed. Forgive me. The people of Elda Menencia can look after themselves just fine. It's the ones here on Lenigus who need someone to guide them. Besides, with you leading the people here, it'll help spread the idea of coexistence beyond Menencia's borders that much faster. Sounds like you're in it for the long haul. How could I not be, after the second chance that I've been granted? From this day forth, I shall dedicate myself to the future inhabitants of this world. Though the memories of the departed shall remain forever in my heart. Remember, you're going to be leading the people here, not ruling them. True enough. Whatever would I do without you, Kisara? Mm -hmm. With or without her, I suspect you're gonna have your hands full when the time comes. We should be heading back to the ship. Business on Rena awaits. That's true. Ooh. We opened that thing just as I spent points just a few moments ago. What's this one? Oh, that's the training grounds. And that's the fishing. Oh, you seem to be missing probably like one or two down here. Ground desires, improve healing arts, damage. Easy, perfect guard or evade. Looks like the people of Lenigus can rest easy. I couldn't have done it without your words of encouragement, Law. Hey, you're the one who made the speech. I think everybody can share the credit here. One's own master. In one sense, when all is said and done, perhaps I have been a slave this whole time too. You, a Renan lord. How do you figure that exactly? I was complicit in the Renan system, bound by its values. Resigned to being swept along, without the resolve to take a stand. And when I realized the severity of my mistake, all I longed for was punishment. 
a lord. And yet my first instinct was to place my fate in the hands of others. I think I can relate. No. I couldn't stand watching my people bow and scrape their way through life. But I didn't know what else I could do about it either. The ability to think for yourself and be your own master. That's what separates a slave from a free person. At least, that's what Law's dad Zephyr used to say. Zephyr taught me how to fight. But in doing so, he also taught me how to live. Even if it means stumbling along the way. If it's on a road of our own choosing, free of regret. Why, that's the road of freedom. Or, to put it another way, so long as his heart is compromised, even the loftiest of kings is no freer than a slave. I think I finally understand now. This Zephyr character sounds like he was a wise man indeed. I only wish I could have met him. There's just so much I wish I could ask him, especially now. I wonder, have I been correctly carrying on the torch that he passed to me? You've been doing the best you can. No one can ask for anything else. Whipping the sa slate? Or oh, wiping the slate? Known. known what? About the darkness I carry inside me. You seem to have been aware of it for quite some time now. Why ask me now? What does it matter? But, yes, I have. I've pretty much known that something was gnawing at you ever since we left Menencia. So basically since the very start of our journey then. Just when I thought I couldn't feel more ashamed. Leave the past where it belongs. We have no need for it now. You're forging ahead. That's what matters. If my brother could see you, he'd be proud. <laughs> not as proud as he would be of his sister, I'm sure. Oh. Well then, just as well it's not a competition, huh? I know, he's always, he's always seems to have love a good competition. Leaving the nest. <sighs> or the net. Kisara? Anyone at home in there? <laughs> Sorry. Did I look distracted? Yes. Among other things. To be entirely honest, I couldn't tell whether you were smiling or frowning. You were thinking about Zohalim, weren't you? <laughs> <sighs> that obvious, huh? I was just thinking how good it is to see him moving forward at last. It was always so infuriating, oh. knowing how capable he could be if he just put his mind to it. A prisoner trapped in a cage of his own self-doubt. But now, he's finally beginning to spread his wings. I'm happy for him. So, then why do you look so sad? Oh, I don't know if I'd say sad. There's a bitter sweetness to it, I guess. It's good and... strange, knowing that he won't be needing me anymore. It probably sounds weird, doesn't it? I have this massive worry off my mind. I should be jumping up and down for joy, right? Must be that maternal instinct of yours at work. Mm. Rinwell's right. You're like a mother bird, finally letting go as her child takes his first shaking and nervous flight from the nest. <laughs> a pretty big child. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. I wouldn't like to see Dohalim's face if he heard you say that. All this has made me realize I can't allow myself to become a prisoner of my own making like he was. If Dohalim can forge his own path ahead, then I can too. I won't be left behind. Alright, that seems to be the last of that. Good. Alright, but before we head off, let's have a look in here. See if there's any weapons I can make. I can make a new gun. Or a new book. She's already got the highest most things she can make. Uh, it's just... I can go for this one. Uh, I need magma fun bones for the next one. And you're missing a few of the level 5. Have I got anything I can sell? Platinum dog tags. 
And also here we'll sell some old armor. Items. And stock up on some more bits. Right, I think that'll be good. We can now head off. Have you guys checked your equipment lately? Well, we checked it as much as we can. Now Rimwell's going to have a go at Law again because he still doesn't like flying. I thought we'd find answers on Lenigus, but we just ended up finding more questions. You can say that again. And now we have more problems to fix too. Like figuring out how to reform Lenigus. Hmm. That can wait for now. We've got more than enough on our plates to deal with as it is. Like figuring out who's really running the show on Rena. Yeah. Which is why we're going to the Renan homeworld. All the answers we've been looking for are on that planet. The person responsible for all this. The Red Woman and the Renis Alma. Do we know what the Renis Renan homeworld the is? The answers though? have to be there. Are we prepared to finally find them? So, aye, aye, what do we do first when we get there? We know nothing about the Renan homeworld or what we might face once we arrive. We should get a feel for how things are on the ground before we take any serious steps. It's also entirely possible that the first thing we're going to face is an attack. If we come across a capital, we should... <laughs> what? What? Red lady. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, you're going to teleport us to the Renan homeworld then. There's more of her. Ow. Oh, shit. Shit! Damn. The hell just happened? I spilt no water. Our course has been altered. The coordinates are pointing to a different destination. What's that? The ship's controls aren't accepting my commands. The engine is being shut down. Uh oh. That's bad, right? Quite bad. We've lost control of the ship. Is all of this the Red Women's doing? Are they trying to finish us off before we can land? <laughs> Everyone, look there. Be nice. <laughs> Pardon me. Planet's seen better days. This don't look good. This don't look good at all.
Kind of looks kind of pretty in a destructive way. A flower blooming out of Retta? But that flower looks like it's absorbing all of Dana's energy. And it appears Lenigus is serving as a conduit for that energy to reach here. Could that have been its true purpose all along? If that's true, do you think the people back on Lenigus are all right? <sighs> we can only pray that they are. Damn it! Haven't they taken enough already? When is this going to end? The Flower of Oblivion. Isn't that an Elder Scrolls game? With everything that's happening, we need to get back to <laughs> Lenigus. Is the ship still offline? Unfortunately, yes. Even more so than when it laid dormant. Can you fix it? Starships are extremely complex machines. One wrong move while we're out here in space could very well cost us our lives. So what? We're just stuck inside here, floating around? For how long? <sighs> Until we either run out of food or oxygen. I don't believe this. We've made it all this way, and now we're stuck here? We're watching Dana die before our eyes, and we have no choice but to sit here and starve to death? Law, calm down. You're not the only one who's worried here. R right. Sorry. It's still too early to give up. There has to be a way to get out of this. Alfin. Quiapods? Now what? The starship, it... It's back online? No, this is different. Something is pulling our ship in towards it. And looks of things we're gonna have to brace for impact. We managed to get moving, but where are we? It looks like Lenigus in here. Do you think we might run into more remnants here? Or those red women? Perhaps. Someone brought us here. The question is, <coughs> who? We haven't been ambushed, so that probably means they aren't hostile. Still, why would anyone want to bring us here? Uh, hey! Shion! If they wanted to attack us, they could have done so while we were back on the starship. We should see where this path takes us. Mm. Out of reach. Shion, just in the nick of time. Here, lend me a hand while I... No! What the... Oh, right. The thorns. <laughs> My bad. No, I'm the one who should apologize. I overreacted. Again, Law? Can't you even go a minute without putting your foot in your mouth? <laughs> Seriously, it's fine. I'd rather that than people feeling like they're walking on eggshells around me. Because they keep forgetting Besides, about those things. I'm the one who should be vigilant about not touching you guys, not the other way around. Actually, I've been meaning to ask. Not being able to touch people. Does it ever get lonely sometimes? I guess I never really thought about it in those terms. It was either accept it for what it was or come undone. Before long, it was just part of my everyday reality. I think I even forgot there was another way to live. Which isn't to say I didn't feel alone. I did. Always. So numb to your reality, you couldn't even recognize it as loneliness? I don't know how you managed. It's fine. 
I know I'm not alone anymore. But I can't even touch you. No way of lending you a shoulder when you're down. Even Alfin. I appreciate the concern. Until yes, I get we like to give storm, hugs. I guess I'll have to put up with it just a little longer, but not forever. Alfin promised me that. Maybe it'll be soon, maybe it won't be. But either way, the day will come. And I'll be ready when it does. Yeah, just hang in there. One day, we'll share a big warm hug. You'll see. I'm Yay! Happy. I like hugs. Uh, lightning mode. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? This isn't the time for games, Rinwell. Oh, come on. How am I supposed to resist with you looking all jittery like that? It's called experiencing feelings appropriate to the situation. You ought to try it sometime. Y yeah, but seeing you act all nervous, you're making me start to feel nervous, too. Woo! Uh, oh, sorry. Staying alert is important. But too much caution can cloud your judgment. Try to strike a balance. Yes, Mom. I still can't get over what we saw happening outside the starship. Yeah, our planet's really not doing too hot right about now. I've only ever seen Rena from the surface of Dana, so I figured it was just another round planet like ours. Still, though, I never would have imagined Rena actually looked like that. And what's the deal with that giant flower coming out of it? Beats me. I have absolutely no clue. It's so surreal. It looks like a broken egg or something. Rena and Dana. We were taught that both worlds were spherical bodies that floated amongst the stars in the heavens. But to think that they lied to us not only about the Sovereign and the Crown Contest, but also the form of our own planet. Dohalim. Okay, who's the wise guy that summoned us here? Someone formidable enough to bring our starship along with us. They must be here somewhere. Let's find them. And we have another skit called Keeping Calm. That beam of light joining Dana and Rena. It was the Renan side that it first came from, right? That's what it looked like. And then the Danan side responded. Perhaps it was some kind of directive from the Renan homeworld? To reawaken the Wedge and Lenigus? Which would mean that whoever's behind all this is on Rena after all. But what are they after? Is it really worth going through all this trouble just to steal Dana's energy? Try to stay calm. With so many factors we don't understand, dwelling on it won't get us anywhere. <sighs> what is it? No, it's just... Zephyr once told me the same thing. So much for me making progress, huh? You made it this far, didn't you? You notice something, you change it. That's all anyone can do. But you can't stand still in the meantime. Alright, uh, right, well there goes my theory that... that originally the Renans were from Dana as well. So clearly they're definitely from a different planet but I don't know I think it's safe to say that they're definitely there is they're definitely from a different planet that's definitely a thing and that's way to go that's on the upper level lower level and that just takes us back to the main area. Anything hidden around? Not by the looks of things. And what does this look like? Some sort of chamber. This place looks a lot like that room we saw back in the Forbidden Zone. Huh? What's that? Looks like a red woman. There she is. Killer! Well, you have the chance. Uh, 
It's one of those. A red woman in disguise. Or is this their true form? So it was I don't know. A Kill it while you still have the charts. It doesn't look like it can move. Tell me, are you the one who brought us here? That is correct. It no, is it unusual talk. for me to have unexpected guests these days. It can Aww. talk. What are you? Have wrecked 35. What's have that? Have wrecked 35. Is that your name? Correct. What is this place? No, wait, before that, just what exactly are you? Are you somehow associated with the Red Women? Before I answer, I have a question for you. How did you all arrive in this sector? The Red Women brought us. We did not come to this place by choice. Our ship was brought here against our will. By a group of red women who can shift into the same form as you. In that case, we can assume my brethren who serve the Great Spirit have deemed you all to be a threat most grave. What do you mean, serve? Are you saying there really is someone more powerful than the red women pulling their strings? What did you do to us? I examined your bodies. You have not been harmed in any way. Identifiers detected. The Sovereign and Maiden are among you. However, you aren't under its control. I see why they viewed you as a danger now. Oh goody, more riddles. Do you think we can trust this thing? Like it or not, it may be our best chance at a ticket out of here. Let's at least hear it out. Oh, it's still I shall going now on. Answer your questions. We are Helganquin. The red women you encountered previously are a form of disguise we employ from time to time, but not our true form. Helganquil? You are on Dake Faisal, a celestial base which drifted here by accident. The will of Rena's great spirit no longer reaches us here. Since my sudden separation from the Great Spirit's influence, I have used any and all means to extend my lifespan. As I have done so, I have also set out to monitor and research Rena and Dana from this position. A question. What is this Great Spirit of which you speak? Is it something that rules over your kind? Correct. The Great Astral Spirit is a large mass of astral energy that fills all of Rena, one with its own will, a voice we cannot refuse. A mm. voice? Just like Dana. The voice of the Great Spirit speaks to our hearts directly, and we have served it without question throughout the ages. That mean Rinwell's kind of like them, she can heal so hear voices mind? of the astral what energy. Could this great spirit be the true sovereign of Rena? The true ruler of Rena. It could be the same thing that's controlling Volron. Wait, back up. You're telling us this great spirit of yours is the one that ordered you things to harvest the astral energy from Dana? I'm not sure I believe that. Why not? We've already made contact with the will of Dana back in the Wedge and in the Forbidden Zone on Lenegas. If Dana has a will of its own, I don't see why Rena wouldn't. Maybe not, but think about what you're saying. If Dana has a will like Rena, then that would mean that we've been controlled by the voice of Dana this whole time, just like these things. Dana's will hasn't been forcing us to do anything. Yeah, but... Let's assume that what Hevrek 35 claims is true, and that we are indeed cut off from both planets. Even mm. if we had previously been under the control of Dana's will, we would have noticed now that we are disconnected. Your fear is not based in logic. 
The voice of Dana is much smaller and quieter compared to that of Rena's great spirit. Rena's astral energy is amassed at its center, whereas Dana's is shared among all its constituents. So thinly is that energy spread that it cannot coalesce and formulate a will. Our findings here indicate as much. Which explains why we felt its will where we did. The Wedge and Lenegus are where so much of that energy had been accumulated. The Great Spirit's desire is to consume all astral energy. And the pursuit of that desire is why you see Rena in its current state. As a result, it has turned its attention toward Dana. Is that why the crown contest is necessary? So that the Great Spirit can feed off of Dana? Those instructional energy go mine! It was to that end that we Hilganquil devised the crown contest. Had the initial spirit channeling from 300 years ago succeeded, all of Dana's astral energy would have been seized. <sighs> but the ceremony failed. Lenegus was severely damaged. And you lost both the Sovereign and the Renesalma. Correct. A change in plan was required to ensure the spirit channeling success. However, recreating the Renes Alma required a vast amount of energy. That is why we turn to Dana. So that was the real purpose behind the crown contest. An efficient means to harvest the necessary energy from Dana. This is all happening because of me. Nevertheless, you still haven't answered one of Alfin's original questions. Just why have you brought us here to your base, Hedrecht 35? First, it was to confirm the identities of you, my unexpected visitors. Second, it was to ascertain whether you would be likely to accept my request. A request? But what could someone like you want us to... I wish for you all to slay the Great Spirit. <clears throat> I'm sorry, did you just ask us to kill your master? I did. It is in your best interest that you do so, I might add. What makes you say that? Lenegus has entered the final stage of the spirit channeling plan. As we speak, Dana's energy is being harvested en masse and transmitted to Rena. If nothing is done about the Great Spirit, it will not be long before all is lost. You're saying the destruction we saw earlier is just the beginning? That... We won't let that happen. Why do you want us to kill the Great Spirit so badly? Is it to save our world? To free you, Helganquil, from under its control? Why? No. My primary concern is validating our findings and analysis which have taken many years to realize. As such, it is my desire to see how your actions impact and change these systems. However, I will not deny that vengeance also plays a part. Vengeance? For what? In spite of our long service to the Great Spirit, our species is on the brink of extinction. You mean... you're dying? Mm -hmm. At this stage, it would be wise for you to talk with the others. Ask them what you need to know. Once you have your answer, return to me. If you agree to help, I shall fix your ship. Others? Just how many of you are there? I am the only Helganquil who inhabits Dig Faisal. Hey! Hey! He's going back to sleep. Nighty night. It's no use. I think it's done talking to us. Let's take a look around. Alrighty then, but I think we're gonna do that next time, so... I still got a lot of questions. Don't know if they'll get answered. But I'm just gonna leave it here for today. And um, we'll get back to this. Because what's the day? Today's Saturday. I take Monday. I'll take. I take Sundays and Mondays off. I'll be back on 
Tuesday for some more. F we'll be back to some more Final Fantasy X. And we'll probably be back to this on Thursday then. I don't want to stop, but it is getting quite late and I haven't made any dinner yet. All right. I'll see you later. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, there's links in the description where you can come watch this live on Twitch. And I, if I don't speak to you sooner, I'll speak to you later. Bye.